my name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I'll be talking about the differences between spherical and parabolic mirrors. Curved mirrors are used in astronomy and also in communication, in microwave communication, to uh, focus light or microwaves. And two of the popular forms are the so-called spherical form and the parabolic form. The spherical form is as if you had cut a, a hole in a sphere and taken out part of the sphere uh, and it'll uh, be uh, curved like this where each part of the mirror is the same distance from a given point. A parabolic mirror, on the other hand, uh, for short distances looks like a spherical mirror, but uh, the edges will resemble a, a more of a parabola, which is a different geometric form. Uh, how these mirrors focus light are shown in these examples. If you have light coming from a distance a star, it bounces off this shiny mirror surface and is focused more or less into a point. The advantage of the parabolic mirror is if your light is coming from a star and it's parallel to the so-called optical axis, which I've drawn in red, then all of the uh, light rays will indeed focus into one single point and you have the sharpest object possible. The spherical mirror on the other side, on the other hand, would have a fuzzy focus point because depending on where the ray hits the mirror, it uh, doesn't quite focus in the same spot. The advantage of this, however, is if we have light coming from a slightly different direction, the spherical mirror still looks spherical. And so it will focus in a different point and it'll be just as fuzzy as before. This is called spherical aberration, but it's over a wide field and over uh, large uh, differences in direction that you can get the same fuzzy spot. The parabolic mirror, on the other hand, becomes much worse if you try to look at an object which is not parallel to this optical axis. So the summary of this is, this is good for the radio and spherical mirrors are good for optical, UV, and infrared telescopes uh, if you want to have a wide field of view. Now, in astronomy, there are special purpose mirrors that are uh, being constructed to solve specific problems and uh, sometimes you may decide to choose a parabolic shape, a spherical shape, or even something in between because there's a lot of corrections you can do with adaptive optics and with deformable uh, mirrors that you put into the uh, stream of, um, of light. Thank you. Thank you.